Hi folks, Anders here and welcome to another dub date. Oh, so much has happened. Um, yeah, so where do I begin? Well, for a start, he's turning over. Battery's back in. It's ticking over nicely, which is happy days. I'll start at the front and I'll show you what I've done and work my way back. So in the front, um, I have my first festival that I'm trading at in three days. So the front now, I'm just leaving as is. It's just going to be used for storage for my gazebo and tables and all of that kind of gubbins. Um, but I have done the edging here. I've put the carpet back down because it was washed and cleaned. I'm not going to put the sides back in or the front now or the roof. I will do that when I get back. That's fine. But also, I've redone the trim under here. Is all looking nice. So that's been stretch carpeted all along there, all put back in place, looking lovely. It is looking a lot cleaner in here now. Um, yep, yeah, working our way back. The painting is now completely done in the main hub area, which is fabulous. The bathroom has been painted. Um, Maddie, I'm looking at you for this because, yeah, um, my friend who's been helping me do it all up decided she wanted to paint the bathroom. I was like, okay, I will let you choose any colour you want. It's pink. It's so pink. Um, but it kind of works with the, the, the baby blue and the baby blue there and that, so I'm running with it. I actually really like it. It's a uh, refl It's got glitter in the paint, so when you sand it down, um, all the glitter will shine through and make it look all shimmery, but it just looks so much brighter in there compared to what it was. It's got a bit wider, as you can see. Yeah, it's so much brighter. It was, if you recall, it was that really dingy, dark green which had no favours for such a tiny space. So yet, that is now pink, which is very exciting. Um, yep, so that's that done. Um, friend Paul came along, and because there was that burnt patch along here, um, uh, that's now been put on with some nice uh, sheet aluminium. So that looks quite nice, and then we've painted all in there. The boiler is gonna come out, or I'm gonna try and get it serviced. There is a leak on it, I'll explain that in a second. Um, the water leak, not a gas leak. I haven't tried the gas on it yet. I'm not trying the gas on it yet. I'm just leaving it as is uh, until I can get it actually looked at properly. But the other very exciting news is I've just hooked up the leisure battery this morning and, and, and I switch on the water pump and lift this up and just grab a hammer. second and do this oh my god I've got running water that's so exciting it's only the cold obviously at the moment because the, the water heater boiler is not working um, but yeah that is amazing got that that is good um, all the electrics have been well I'm working on the electrics currently I have one of the main hab lights working, which is this one here. This is the 12 volt system, as you can see. The tubes are very old and dim, but hey, it'll work for little night lights and stuff. For some reason, uh, I can't get that one working. Don't know why, the tubes are fine. There's 12 volt power going into it, so I think it must be the little solenoid thing he's gone on it. And this is the one for the bathroom that I've just hooked up because I had. There was originally a light in here, but I'd isolated it um, above the cab. Um, but this one also works. So that's going back in the bathroom. So we'll have a bathroom light and we will have a main hab light. The one that's here, again, I'm getting 12 volt power to it, but then it's not coming on. I haven't actually tried that yet to uh, just check the tubes in it. So I'll check the tubes in that. There is power going to be the thingy there. So about there, but yeah, that's good. Um, the ceiling has been painted. Just looking much brighter. It just needs one more coat on that today. It's a very subtle pinky, but it's that light reflective paint. So it does make it feel a lot, lot brighter in here. But yeah, I ignore the mess. It is chaos, but I have been working and working. And I've had my friend Maddie working on it. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I'll show you on the outside as well, because we've done a lot of work there. So we take it outside. Doors on. Look at the door. You go wider. No, I'll it there. There you go. There is the door on. 
that's back on. Um, so I changed the handle over. It's fine. It is a slightly offset at the moment. Just there. It's not closing properly there. This is a door I picked up off um, Facebook. Um, one of the tool groups. Uh, one guy wanted 100 quid for a door without the windows or any of the fittings. This guy wanted 15 quid for it. It did have the larger mirror on it originally that went there to there, but the fixings were the right size for there, so put the old mirror back on. It will be painted and it will be, when I get back from the festival, it will be realigned at the bottom there. Uh, there was uh, some rust on the bottom there, so I reinforced it with, uh, well, there was a little gap, but yeah, about a centimetre gap all the way along there. So that was um, filled, I put some aluminium mesh in there, filled with the P40 um, fiber and then done over with P38 just fill it just to smooth it off but yeah it just needs I say the door needs to be tweaked and calibrated but I'm not fussed at the moment it closes it opens it's all good the lock works on it the window wiper works on it winder works on it yeah so that's good uh, at the top here where all of the rot was originally I'll show you and um, that is all now completely done sanded down i am going to this afternoon just put some primer on it because it's galvanized steel just to neaten it up a bit um and just to, yeah there that all the rubber the seals are back on i've got to pop them off again just to paint there but yeah i'm just going to prime it all now just so as it's done and on the other side if i take around there you can see the other side as well considering i've never done any kind of body work filling before in my life i'm actually very very pleased with how it's turned out so this side here looks good. That staining there is the general light rust converter because I chucked a load of a rust converter in um, where there was still a little bit of surface rust and stop it from getting any worse. So that is all good. That's going to be sprayed and primed. Uh, yep. And yeah, hang on. Is that high? No, I'll leave that for now. Yep. Um, I've also managed to sort out the water cap. Uh, there wasn't a key for water cap, but I managed to fetch the whole thing off. Um, put the just get rid of the water cap. I'm just going to get a quick replacement one, non locking one for now. That's just going to be screwed back into place. But I have running water in the tab, obviously, as you've seen. Um, yeah, the little bit of damage that was there has been filled. Um, I've just got to smooth that down nice and neatly. Um, but that fiber thing is sorted, and yeah, so all of the cupboards are back on, the doors are back on. Uh, when I get back from the festival. Um, plugging it by the way if you are um, interested in pagans and witches and vikingy stuff uh, this coming weekend um, so maybe I think it's the 6th and 7th no 7th and 8th in Coventry at the Heart of England Conference Centre there is the Festival of Pagans and Witches I will be trading there uh, come and see Anders Crafts there hey that's me um, Buy lots of stuff because it's, this has cost me a lot of money to do. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'll be there this weekend, which is very exciting. Hence the kind of rush now to get this done and nice and neat. So yeah, the cushions will be going back on. I'm just going to be using the original cushions for now. I've run out of time to recover them, uh, but that will be a job for when I get back. The curtains are being finished. I've got two of them done now. My other side needs to be done. So we'll have curtains in here for warmth um it is supposed to be quite warm this weekend so i'm not too worried about having heating in here i will basically be using the van as a glorified <clears throat> very hard tent but with some extra commodities shall we say so again running water i've got electric in here <clears throat> i do need to get some one of the little 12 volt to usb things from here because i've got a 12 volt socket there which I just need, yeah, need to get one of those to USB and I have got 12 volt in the front as well. The weird thing is I've always got live in here because the stereo is always on, which is very strange. So I'll have to keep an eye on that while I'm away. But yeah, it's, uh, I've turned it over this morning. It turned over very, very nicely. I haven't moved it yet. Um, oh, also, also very exciting. I didn't know this existed until uh, Paul came around the other day. Apparently on the back here, no, that much is a driver. I've got that and one there, and those are leg support thingies to stabilize it when you're on the ground and parked, which is very cool. I didn't know it had that, so yeah, progress 
is being made. I am very, very happy with how it's getting on. Start to clean all the carpets, the existing carpets that's in here. Eventually I'll replace all of the stretch carpet in here. Just not at the moment. I don't have time to do it before the, 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 the before the first festival. But yeah, I am super excited. Um, it's getting really good. I've got a couple of doors to, just to put back on. Just for that little cupboard there. He is now definitely watertight. We had a lot of heavy rain yesterday. And yeah, all is good. There was no rain coming through, no drips coming through, no leaks coming through. So all the skylights are good and nice and solid. I'm really pleased with that. So yeah, Dougie's getting there. Um, so obviously one of the things I have discussed in previous videos is I inherited the name Dougal for the van when I purchased him. I shortened it to Doug because the number plate is D, O-U-G, so obviously he's Doug. But I feel now he needs to be renamed because... Um, yeah, I want to make it mine. And a friend of mine, Becca, quite a few weeks ago, we were chatting about it and she suggested, we were, I was looking at kind of like Viking names, obviously, because I do Viking reenactment and things like that. And I'm quite interested in, in Norse culture, not the toxic um, neo-Nazi side of stuff. That's bad. <coughs> um, you're actually, shout out to the Welsh Viking channel um, on YouTube because he does amazing, amazing stuff on all sorts of Viking history and debunks loads of myths and things like that. But anyway, tangents. Uh, yeah, so the he will be renamed. And the name that I'm going with is Hof. H-O-F. Which is, uh, in old Norse times, was a meeting place. Um, you would have a heathen Hof. Um, so it could be a temple if you were a lot of religious people, or yeah, it would be a half. Obviously the other Viking thing was a Viking thing, which was a bigger meeting point. Uh, that was usually just in the outdoors where people would go to settle arguments and grievances and things like this. But uh, yeah, a general meeting place would be a half. So Doug will be renamed Hoff. And I figure, seeing as I'm at a pagan and witchy vikingy festival this weekend, I think it's going to be rather apt to rechristen him. Don't you agree? So yeah, lots of stuff has happened. Uh, it's just been insane. I have done so much for last week. I keep meaning to film bits and bobs here and there, but I just basically just wanted to crack on and get him done. Um, just so as is habitable, because I still have... Oh, the radio's on. That's weird. Um, yeah, I, I still have to make a load of stock for the festival, sort all my existing stock out, and do all of that kind of stuff as well. So today is just going to be finishing up, tidying up in here, clearing all the crap out, putting the seats in, um, and he will be as good as he's going to be for now. Um, I didn't need to get the water running today, but I just thought since I've got the leisure battery hooked up, um, which I managed to get from Euro Car Parts on Easter weekend. They were doing half price on all their leisure batteries. So I got a 110 uh, amp one, what one? I, I don't know, the biggest one that they'd got. Uh, it should have been 80 quid, it was only 41 pounds, which is an absolute bargain. Loads of people on some form, and some people say, oh yeah, don't do that, go, you know, you can only have like lift iron ones and they're a thousand pounds. But I figure 40 quid for a ledger battery with a decent capacity will do me. And it's got a warranty on it and stuff as well. So yeah, I know, like I say, some people don't rate them. Uh, I will see how it goes and I will update on that in future videos, but it's connected, it works. I have power in the cab. I am happy with that as long as it charges you know on the alternator and all that kind of stuff but yeah how exciting this is fabulous i am if you look back and watch through to the first video where i was so not the first video first video when i got him i was relatively excited the second video where i found all of the um water ingress in the cabs it's just come along so nicely yes there is a lot of work to do on the outside there's still quite a lot of rust that needs treating and things like that but that is something i can do over the summer in between festivals because i have i think eight or nine festivals this summer that i will be going in here so 
there, but there is a couple of weeks downtime between each. Uh, he will be repainted completely on the outside. Obviously, the door needs to be repainted because it's very shockingly blue at the moment. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I am so pleased with the progress that has been made in the last couple of weeks. It's just been go, 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 go. Um, and I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for all the people who have done uh, contributed to the crowdfunder. I'll post a link to that below. It's still it's still open. It's still running. If you want to see more of these videos, if you want to see Doug looking a lot more swankier, you know, feel free to you know drop a couple of quid to the uh, GoFundMe. It's really appreciated. Obviously, this has cost me a lot more than I originally expected with all of the issues that I've had with all the damp and the water ingress and things like that. But yeah, it's just so, so worth it. Thank you to all of the commenters on my videos as well. Um, thank you to all of the people on the Talbot Express groups on Facebook who have just been incredible whenever I've had a question or a query. And they're like, oh yeah, do this, do this, do this. And it's just been brilliant. So yeah, I'm so excited to actually get out in him now and see what happens yeah um it's i'm quite glad that this first festival that i'm going to is only 30 miles away so that it won't be too bad if i do break down i've got i've got recovery and stuff anyway which is fine but it's only a 30 mile commute which to be fair i did 60 miles in him when i first picked him up so yeah but yeah he's all good it's getting better it just needs a clean um and yeah so yeah thank you for watching this video um it's another dug dug, dug date for you it's soon to be a huff date which sounds quite bizarre so it'll just be a huff update i think i'll be renaming them too but yeah if anything more significant happens in the next couple of days uh i will uh yeah do a video um once i get to the festival actually because obviously he will be kitted out with all of the creature comforts well i have chairs and things and curtains in here i'll do a little mini tour when i'm um, at the festival so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video